everybody, my name is Val from the Brantford Public Library and welcome to STEAM Challenge. Every week we use our problem solving and creative thinking skills to create a different challenge. Now do you know what a kaleidoscope is? It's really cool to look through. It's a two fully fragments and mirrors to reflect those fragments into cool designs. Now we're going to explore symmetry, light and reflections to make our own kaleidoscope with objects easily found around your house. Let's get started. So here are the supplies I'll be using today to make our kaleidoscope. Some cardstock or cardboard will work as well. Some mirrored paper that you could get from the dollar store. I glued two pieces together so it's reflective on both sides. Toilet paper roll, which I already painted and dried. Scissors and markers for decorating. Now to attach it all, you can use a straw, or I didn't have straws, so I'm using a wooden dowel instead. Let's get started. So once you've prepared and decorated your toilet paper roll, however you choose, the next step is to create our triangular prism created from our mirrored paper. So I cut three strips, roughly 9.7 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters in size. Lay them flat, leave a little bit of space in between, and attach with clear tape. Flip over to form your prism. And then another piece of tape so it's all together, just like that. So our prism is complete, and then we can slide it in to our roll. So this should fit pretty tight. If it doesn't, because toilet paper rolls do vary in size, um, just play around with your sizing so it fits nice and tight. So that step is complete. Next, we're going to use our cardstock and cut circles, roughly 3.75 diameters. Now I used this roll of tape and I traced the outside of that and that seemed to work really well. So I recommend making a few of these so you can make lots of different designs. Once they're done, just use the end of a pen or a pencil to poke a hole in the middle. Now here's one I did. As you can see, each section here is a different design. Play around with colors, letters, shapes, whatever you'd like. And then as you turn it, you'll see the different design through your kaleidoscope. So here are the final steps to complete our kaleidoscope. I attach my wooden dowel here with a piece of tape, leaving a bit of room here at the back. Now again, you could use a straw or whatever else you have around the house and insert it through the hole of your design. So now it's, trying to, now it's time to see how the light, synergy, and reflections work for our kaleidoscope. So let's look through together. and then slowly turn your circle to see how your designs are reflected through the triangular prism. Pretty neat, huh? So again, I encourage you to make lots of different circle designs and have fun with your kaleidoscope. Thank you so much for joining me today for Brantford Public Library's Teen Challenge. I hope you enjoyed making your own kaleidoscope. We'd love to hear and see what you've created. And remember, this is just one example. There's so many ways you can make a kaleidoscope with beads and other objects around the house. But I just picked this one. For more home-based activities, visit brantfordlibrary.ca. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.